Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. This is Phoenix Draconis and this is k -On Reviews. All right, now as you saw in the intro, today's tour review video is going to focus on Star Wars. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, folks, now as you saw in the intro, today's toy review video is going to focus on Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadron's Luke Skywalker's X-Wing Fighter. Now, this is what they refer to as the launch edition, as you can see in the packaging there. Now, I have to say, this is a very awesome looking uh, rendition of the ship. Now, uh, I have seen video reviews from other Star Wars related YouTubers and I've been enamored in this. Now, I took the opportunity of picking this one up when I was at my local Walgreens and apparently they had it on sale. So I'm like, whoa, let me go ahead and snag this. And so here it is in front of us. So now I do want to apologize for the shaky camera view. Uh, because of the ring light, it does leave a glare and that gets annoying after a while. So here we are. But as you can tell, it's got this big old open uh, bubble case here and it shows off the fighter beautifully. Now, as you can tell, it does come with two micro figures, one of Luke Skywalker in his flight suit as well as R2-D2 and they as you can tell from the uh, from the photos here they shows how they will go in very nice so you do see some TIE fighters in the background uh, you also see uh, some illustrative art on this side you see more of that open window and on this end you do see see the uh, the details of the X-Wing and you show how the uh, how R2 is going to uh, you know be put in there and how you can inject them and you also are able to open up the S foils in attack position it shows some detail schematics on that as well and all of them in I guess in uh, the basic language I guess and you also show uh, the different vehicles now the next one I will probably get if I'm able to find it is uh, Darth Vader's TIE Fighter naturally I'm not sure about the uh, the Jedi Starfighter or this uh, unique looking TIE Fighter I may still get the TIE Fighter, who knows? It really depends. But the ones I'm really, really looking forward to at getting is definitely, you know, the Millennium Falcon. And definitely both that ship. You know, so that's, uh, that's one that I'm gonna go ahead and look for. So we're gonna take one final look at the bubble with the figures inside and if you uh, if y'all don't mind give me a moment while I open them up and showcase the vehicle all right folks there they are out of their packaging and wow I have to I have to say I'm very impressed with with a lot of the detail on this. I'm gonna try and zoom in as much as I can. Come on, focus, damn it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yes, I'm not having a good morning this morning. Now, 
As I take a closer look, from far away, because of their size, um, they weren't too bad, but as I zoom in, you can see they got a lot of good molded detail. But I have to say, the paint applications are shit for the, for the little micro figures. Uh, very badly applied. Not a whole lot that was done. Bare minimum, at the very least, bare minimum. You got one, yeah, uh, I have to say, I am, for the micro figures, I'm not really all that impressed, at least from what I've seen on R2. And then we got Luke, which, yeah, very bare minimum, and I have to say, very badly applied. So, eh, but again, it is what it is. Now here, you can tell they did a lot of good molded detail, uh, some weathering here and there. Uh, you can, yeah, they tried their best to go ahead and add on some, uh, some pink details. So you can tell this is pretty much a vehicle that and I like like I said they they did some really good uh, canopy details on here I'm very impressed so far uh, they did a whole lot with uh, with the weathering like this vehicle has been through some battles now earlier I did uh, before I went ahead and started filming, I did uh, try uh, some you know opening and closing of the uh, of the X I mean the S foils and I think they kind of just are not closing like they like they did when I first opened this up. Uh, but it is what it is. But again, look at that detail on here. And one good thing that I did like that I was really impressed with is the fact that they added some landing gear on here. Very nice. So, now again, this isn't going to be a very in-depth vid video because of the type of uh, vehicle it is, as well as the size of the figures. So all you gotta do is just, it does have some articulation. I did not know this until now. Uh, so the hands can go up, the legs can fit down. So you have them in a seating position. Once you have that going, all you gotta do is just put him in the canopy. And there you go. And then you just close that up and it holds by this tiny little peg here into that little port right there. There you go. And of course, then you put R2-D2 in here, push that, there we go. Now, of course, you can always pull them up that way, but there is a lever, under, or not a lever, but a push underneath, which will allow R2 to just wiggle free out of there, and you can pull them out if you don't want him in there. But this kind of reminds me of the old X-Wing fighter that I got back in 77, 78 when I was a kid. And uh, R2-D2 was originally molded into there. So, and when you push down on R2, the X-Foils open up, which reminds me. So, you just push the, uh, the landing gear in and, oi! For some reason on mine, it's pretty tight. And then all you gotta do is just open up the X-Foils and there we go. You have him like so. Now, I kind of wish they had given him a type of flight stand. So you have him like so. But uh, I, I'm not too bad. I'm really liking that. 
And I'm gonna zoom out just a bit more. Out, there we go. And there we are right there. And I have to say, I'm gonna put this box right there. There we go. I have to say, I'm very impressed with what I've seen. It's a, it's a good looking, it's a good looking ship. And uh, I would definitely, this is definitely like to go ahead and get the rest of the, uh, of the line if I can. I'm very selective though, even with the ships, I'm very selective. So I already know I will definitely look out for Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. Uh, in addition, I may go ahead and look into uh, the Millennium Falcon as well as Boba Fett's ship. So, not too bad. Uh, so, very, very nice. Uh, and like I said, not a bad start to to this new segment of, uh, of Micro Galaxy. Uh, ships so so give me a moment to go ahead and uh, take a few images so I can post on the end of this video and I'll come back with with my final mar uh, with my final uh, with my final thoughts as well as my score All right, I am back, and um, as you can see, he's on a type of stand. It's not a flight stand; it's a figure stand. But I was able to go ahead and uh, get him in a type of flight-like pose. So, um, my thoughts on on the ship itself: I like it. I mean, I've always been a fan. Next to the Millennium Falcon and Darth Vader's TIE Fighter, the X-Wing Fighter has been, always been, my vehicle of choice. Uh, you know, I, I like uh, the paint applications, uh, the dry brushing on this because it is a battle-worn vehicle. I really like it. I love the fact that the... Um, the emitters on the S foils are facing the way they should be. I love the fact that you're able to put in the micro astromech on there as well as having the the details inside the cockpit. Those were bleeping awesome. The fact that you've got uh, collapsible landing gear. Ah. Wow, I mean, it's it's awesome. Now, granted, I did have some negative comments concerning the micro figures. Uh, now, at first I thought this was an issue that that Hasbro would need to overcome, but I, as I'm looking at the packaging, I do not see a Hasbro mark on there. It does have Disney. So, Granted, I love the fact that they tried to go ahead and make this uh, as close to screen accurate as possible. They didn't take all that much care with the micro figures. It was the paint applications were very sloppy and were lacking in a lot of areas. So that's something I think they should work on. But again, these are micro figures, but I just to put it out there you know I have seen examples of some really great paint applications that were done by by Hasbro and Takara you know and especially with the HasLab that has just basically been making its way to to those of us that have put in for the figure uh, we're going to see that uh, a lot of good detail on there so I'm going to go ahead and digress because I want to focus more on the ship than 
than the crappy job they did on the figures themselves. But uh, nonetheless, I love the details they put up for the ship, the uh, the landing gear. <laughs> I mean, it. I have to say, wow. Uh, so, on a scale of one through ten, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an eight. I was thinking about giving it a seven, but it deserves an eight. And now, of course, a lot of the issues was the lack of figure stand, or I should say, uh, you know, vehicle stand, as well as the lackluster paint job they did for the micro figures. So that that took off a lot of points. But. This is my take, this is my opinion on this. I want to hear from you. Have you been able to pick this up? Now, I wound up picking this up, as I stated earlier, at my local, Wal uh, my local Walgreens. I was going to say Walmart. But I have seen these at Walmart as well. Uh, I don't know about this one, but I have seen the Millennium Falcon. I think the Razor Crest was in there as well, as well as Boba Fett's ship. Uh, so... I'm, I definitely am going to try and see about finding the Millennium Falcon as well as Bubba Fett's ship. Uh, but this is not a bad start to this new line of, uh, of the Micro Galaxy collection. So, but again, I want to hear from you. Were you able to find it? And if so, what's your opinion on it? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Leave me your comment about it in the comment section down below like share subscribe to my channel click on to the bell icon so you can be notified when I post up new videos now if I'm scheduling this right this video will come out the week of New Year's so Before anything else, I do want to wish everyone a safe and prosperous new year in 2023. This is Phoenix Draconis, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace.